Volkswagen has revealed the latest model in its electric ID range, and it will be one of the most affordable electric cars around. This is the ID2 All, and the production version is set to go on sale in 2025. The ID2 All is still technically a show car, but it's based on the ID Life concept, which was shown back in 2021. That car's boxy crossover esque silhouette was poorly received at the time, so Volkswagen embarked on a complete redesign of the model, bringing in new designer Andreas Mint. There is still a faint chance that the new ID model might involve the Golf name in some way. Volkswagen brand boss Thomas Schaefer has recently spoken of the Golf badge, saying that it just didn't make sense to not make use of such an iconic name. Whether the Golf name is included or not, the price tag should be pretty enticing. Volkswagen is talking about a starting price of close to €25,000, potentially as low as €22,000, and even if Irish taxes bump that up a bit, the new EV should be one of the most affordable on the market. The styling is far softer and more flowing than that of the ID Life, ditching that concept's overt boxiness in favour of curves and handsome styling that nicely combines ID range styling cues with touches of the Mark 7 and Mark 6 Golfs, particularly around the C pillar. The brand's new head of design, Andreas Mint, said the most important value for Volkswagen design is stability. This includes value stability, stability of form, reliability, and recognizability. The car is just 4 metres long, about the same as a current Polo, but in spite of its small size, there's a pretty big boot with 440 litres when the rear seats are up, quite a bit more than you get with the current Golf or ID3, and up to 1330 litres when you fold the rear seats. There's also an additional 50 litre storage box under the back seat. Underneath, the all-electric platform is based on the existing MEB structure used by the ID3, ID4 and ID Buzz models, but switches from the rear-wheel drive setup to a front-wheel drive layout that is now officially called MEB Entry. While it's a more sophisticated platform in some ways, it should also be cheaper to build and is likely to use lithium phosphate batteries. Lithium phosphate batteries are less expensive than traditional lithium ion units, but they can't quite provide as much range. The iron based batteries are also heavier than lithium ion batteries, although they are more durable. They would also charge more quickly than EV batteries, so a slightly shorter range might not be the worst thing in the world. The ID2 All's lower weight should also help with overall efficiency and range. The ID2 All should be able to charge at speeds of up to 200 kW, although again, Volkswagen isn't confirming this figure just yet, merely saying that it will be able to charge from 10 to 80% in as little as 20 minutes from a high output DC charging station. The maximum range would be around 450 km on the WLTP cycle using a 226 horsepower electric motor. It's likely that there will also be more affordable models with lower power outputs and a smaller battery. Amid the details of the ID2 All, Volkswagen has also confirmed that it wants to create an electric car that could be sold for less than €20,000 and could be a stripped out ID2 All or possibly a more basic ID1 which would compete with the likes of the Dacia Spring and incoming affordable Chinese models. While the ID2 All is setting up a more affordable sort of electric car from VW, it will still come with high end safety tools, including the latest version of Travel Assist, a system for partly automated driving. Other features that will be used in the car include IQ light LED matrix headlights, 3D LED tail light clusters with a horizontal LED strip between them, Park Assist Plus with memory function, IQ light and electric seats with massaging function. A large panoramic sunroof will also be available. In the center of the dash, there's a big 12.9 inch touchscreen infotainment system shared with the incoming new ID7 saloon and should hopefully feature much improved and more responsive software. The slider air conditioning controls underneath will now be illuminated, meaning you'll actually be able to use them at night. Below these, there are two large wireless charging pads for phones. The steering wheel now also features physical buttons rather than haptic pads, including two thumb wheels for accessing menu functions, both for the central screen and for the instruments. 
Those instruments are on a larger screen that we've seen on previous ID models measuring 10.9 inches. Tell us what you think about the ID2 all in the comments below and if you've enjoyed the video this far please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It's a huge benefit to us if you do and that allows us to keep making more videos like this. If you want to know more about the car head over to our website it's completecar.ie and you'll find it linked in the description below.